Good day to you, Dentonites. Uh, welcome to another episode of The Buzz in Denton, uh, where I am your host, Terry Buzzer Jr. Today we're going to be talking about Saturday, the December the 9th. Uh, great busy day today as we ramp up for, for the finishing up of our holiday shopping and holiday seasons. Um, so definitely pay attention. Uh, also, if you haven't actually uh, subscribed or liked this page yet, uh, please hit that subscribe button either on Facebook or YouTube, wherever you happen to be watching this or learning this at. Um, and we'll, we'll uh, and we do thank you for that. If also share this, please, if you would, with anybody else out there. Um, but without further ado, um, let's get into the nuts and bolts of what we're going to talk about today. Um, again, we're talking about Saturday, December the ninth. Um, today, let's, we always start off with uh, you know what national day it is. It is National Christmas Card Day. Sounds like it's the time to get your Christmas cards out, which is kind of important because, you know, our mail system isn't, can be slow sometimes, especially when they get bombarded with ship, shipping and stuff. So that's going to be important. It's also National Pastry Day. So it might be a good day to swing by Ravelin Bakery and get you a nice little pastry up in there. So that's always a great one. Um, also, so moving forward now with uh, what we have going on, the events are going on around town. Uh, over at uh, Duino Coffee, uh, that's right there on Hickory Street, I'm sorry, on McKinney Street, right across from the courthouse. They're doing a Cars and Coffee, so a little coffee show kicking off at 8 o'clock. Uh, in the past, they've had vendor, they've had various vendors there, food, things of that nature. Plus, I've heard they've got really good coffee, so go check that out. That is a free event to attend. Uh, Ditton uh, Community Market, obviously, uh, over there at Carroll Mulberry, kicks off at 9 o'clock. That's a weekly occurrence. I think they have two more sessions left this year. Maybe, I think it's just two. Yeah, it's just two, uh, which is really, really cool. So get there, get some shopping done, shop local, you know, support everybody that's out there. Also, over at True Leaf uh, Studio over there on Locust, they do, a, they do a really good vendor shop as well. I know some of those vendors personally, and they've got some really, really good stuff, like Salted Sanctuary is a great one. Uh, it does amazing soaps and stuff, so you definitely go check it out. That kicks off at 10 o'clock. It's a little bit later than the other one. Um, it's not quite as big, but they've got some good stuff there, so I mean, definitely swing by and check them out. That is a weekly occurrence with them as well. Uh, I will check to see if they're going to be continuing on in the winter. I think they do take a small break. Now, over at the Golden Triangle Mall, they're doing uh, Twin Pops Holiday Comic Con. Um, uh, that kicks off at 10 o'clock, usually when the mall opens. Uh, there's going to be food. It's going to be in the food court area, and it looks like they're going to have lots of vendors. Now, there's a Comic Con, so it might be a little bit more, quote unquote, nerdy related as far as, you know, what's within that particular realm. Um, and there's different types of nerds out there. I'm not saying it's the only kind. But that's what's that's what's going on there. They've got lots of vendors in there. I've been to some of those events before, and you're going to find a good mix of things. It's not just going to be comics, just FYI. But if you have a, if you have somebody that likes that kind of stuff, that's where it's going to be. Uh, all going on, we've got the uh, the Potter House Church. Okay, they're doing a uh, holiday hustle market, kicking off at ten o'clock as well. Uh, I didn't get a lot of great details on that, but usually vendors and stuff like that are going to be selling another another great opportunity to shop local. Uh, Patchouli Joe's. Uh, books and, and indulgences. Uh, their author visit this week is going to be, uh, okay, Gillian Bronte Adams. Uh, that's from 12 to 3. Uh, the, the book for what they're releasing here, you know, the author visit is A Sea of Smoke. You know, they always do good stuff there. You know, they're great people. They have lots of little knickknacks from local vendors and stuff there as well. So you want to go check it out. M&B Market. That's right over, right a couple doors down from Denton County Brewing Company. If you haven't been there yet, right behind, right behind Abrigio Tacos, uh, next to the used uh, sports store. Um, they ha they're having a pop up market with a cultural twist. They kicks off at twelve o'clock. Go check them out. Uh, they always have some cool stuff. If you haven't been to that store yet, I highly, highly recommend you go through there. Been through there a couple times. Bought lots of stuff. Anderson's Distillery is doing their. Uh oh, I can't pronounce this word. Apotheca market. Uh, that kicks off at 12 o'clock. You'll probably see me there. Uh, I'm getting ready to go up there and do a, a video shoot with a local vendor that's donating to the United Way that's coming up in January. So you'll probably see me out there about 12, 1230. Uh, rubber gloves. Oh, didn't. Nothing's on rubber gloves. I just didn't take it off my list. Uh, Wildflower Art Studio. They're doing their intro to gouch painting, which kicks off at 2 o'clock, $65 for that. And, again, that includes all your all your supplies, everything you need. That one looked really cool, though. You want to jump on, on Wildflower uh, Art Studio's website and kind of see what that's all about. The Gold Room is having their Specters and Spirits market kicking off at 3 o'clock. That includes vendors, tattoos, tarot readings, things of that nature. Uh, Dan Silverleaf is doing a sw song swap matinee. Um Featuring uh, Brent Best, Chris Welch, and Chris Pavlich, or I'm sorry, Pla Plavidal, 
and uh, Marcus Strippel. Uh That kicks off at 3 o'clock, $12 advance ticket on that, uh, it, it, probably 15 at the door or day of. Uh, then we also have a Steve's Wine Bar, just a couple doors down from that. We have the, the that fun and awesome Irish music experience that kicks off at three o'clock. That is a free event, but we do, you know, always make sure you bring some money to tip the tip the uh, the band itself because they do work hard and they don't they only make whatever they happen to get. Uh, I don't know if they get paid for that one or not. I'm assuming that they do. Uh, let me see them back at the Gold Room again. Um, they're doing a little bit deeper uh, vendor market um, on top of what's already in there. It looks like more vendors are going to be coming in. That kicks off at 5 o'clock. Uh, there are going to be some bands there um, starting at 8. Uh, there's a $10 cover. Uh, I don't know if that means you can go there and check out the vendors and leave or how that part works, but you might want to check out with them, especially if you go to the Gold Room. They do get some awesome, awesome bands in there. Then we got um, get Dan Silverleaf uh, tonight at, uh, on Saturday. We've got Petty Theft. Uh, they, you know, the the music from Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. That's it. That kicks off at nine o'clock. It is fifteen dollar advance ticket price. Probably seventeen, eighteen, twenty at the door. Uh, seen them before. Great, great band. Go check them out. El Taco H does their karaoke tonight. That's that kicks off at nine o'clock. Uh, that goes until they close. And Dusty's does their karaoke as well. So. And that kicks off at nine o'clock. Um, always a good time there. They got some great, great performers in there. They have cheap alcohol prices too. Just by the way, if you haven't been there, that is a weekly thing. So, and that's really all we have for Saturday, uh, December the ninth. Uh, we do look forward to seeing y'all out there. So, uh, don't do me a favor, guys. Don't be afraid to say hi. All right, see you.